Chixi Abala will be playing one of the main characters, Petra. And joining us this morning to talk about the musical is Trixie. Good morning, Trixie. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. It must be uh, great, first of all, after, uh, you know, COVID to get back into the theater and to be performing for real life audience. How do you feel about all that? And are you feeling re-energized by being out there again? Definitely. It feels like you're coming back home, honestly. Like I've done and my other friends have done virtual stuff but when it comes to coming back to the theater it's you can't really replicate that kind of energy and it's so it, yeah it just gives that adrenaline rush especially when you're like singing and acting and performing with everyone so yeah it, it, it feels like coming home so i'm really excited yeah, you know, and this, um, a little night music, uh, you know, if I ask my parents what it is, they know because it's a very well known, but how do you get this, uh, this uh, play out uh, and try and get younger people to come in and embrace the theater? I really like the play. I like uh, A Miller's Son, which is a song you sing, oh, one of yeah. the best songs, mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, in any musical. Uh, but how do you get younger people to come out and, and try this? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I mean... This revolves around love, a little bit of lust, <laughs> but love is pretty much like young love, discovering that, older love, rekindled love. So I think that's such a universal term that everyone can just really connect to. And I'm such a huge fan of Stephen Sondheim. His music is brilliant, it's clever, and it's something that someone can really resonate with um, from different perspectives. Speaking of Sondheim, that song, uh, A Miller's Son, is mm -hmm. kind of tough to sing, but I'm sure oh, yeah. you're loving it, right? <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. It's what the score is gorgeous. Um, but there's so much depth underneath what she's saying. Like the first and last lyric of her of that song is I shall marry the Miller's son. And each time she says it, it means a different thing. So it, yeah, a lot of substance under there. So I, I, I'm stoked. So tell me a little bit about being from the Bay Area, being a Filipina and uh, the Bay Area has a rich. In fact, I grew up partially in Daly City, which had a large oh, Filipino okay. community. So I said Daly City, your eyes perked up, right? Um, oh, I lived in Daly City for a few years, but I, I live in San Francisco now. And um, I was born and raised in Pinol. So Bay Area kid through and through. Right, okay, so uh, yeah. it must be, must be really cool for you to be in such a nice theater company performing this significant role. Uh, your parents or any family members gonna come see it? Oh yeah, they definitely are. And, and it's been such an honor to be a part of this. And I think it's we're heading towards like a revelation post pandemic within the theater scene. Um, a lot of my colleagues and friends who are also folks of color that are actually being put in the forefront now. And I think we're just being able to tell our stories uh, from a new perspective. And so just getting that opportunity is just, I'm super grateful for 42nd Street Moon and all these other Bay Area theater companies that are really pushing forward because there's so much talent here. And I'm so glad that everyone gets to tell their story. Well, the play is called A Little Night Music. Uh, it happens to be one of my favorites. Uh, and I know that other people who like the theater really like it because it's, uh, it's kind of a complex uh, as you said, a story about a lot of couples. And, and uh, thank you for joining us. And congratulations for being in it in such a significant role. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. All right, Trixie, thank you. And to see Trixie in action, a little night music will be at the Gateway Theater on Jackson Street in San Francisco. The musical runs from November 4th until the 21st with an opening night on Saturday, November 6th. Tickets range from $35 to $76. All right, coming up here,